<laughs> Listen, I grew up. I grew up. The loudest sneezer in my family was my grandmother, my mo- my dad's mm. mom, and her sneeze was so funny because there was no build up. She just like <laughs> let loose a fucking scream. Oh so no! Her sneeze, her sneeze would literally just be. Fuck. It's like there wasn't there wasn't like the there wasn't like the the like little plosive part. It was like just mouth open just <laughs> <laughs> Folks, what is up and welcome to another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. I'm Zach, joined by our voice actor Wes. Hello. And our actual lawyer, Bridge. I could be playing Honkai Star Rail right now. You're really in Honkai, aren't you, right now? <laughs> No, I'm joking. I mean, I mean, it's odd, but no, I'm, yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad to be here. Look at this, look at this, look at this hunk guy over here. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, folks, if you want to watch us live, head over to Patreon. Nope. Folks, if you want to watch this live, head over to twitch.tv slash save data team. Uh, follow us, watch us live, interact in the chat, and <laughs> support us on patreon.com slash save data team. You can tell it's been two weeks since I've done this intro. Just two bucks a month gets you access to the full VOD channel of every single stream we do. Five bucks lets you vote on one of our variety streams as well as get your name as an NPC in our D&D campaign saving throw. And at the $10 level and above, you get your name included in this month's brand new Patreon song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bun, Fluff Guff, Mr. Cola, Philo, Cal, Dave, Hall, Lucha, and Sofino. HSM, Earn Less, Crow, Knight, Danny, and Lester, Kevin, Nation, Shadow, Navi. Witch Tower, Sky, Herlock, High, Taco, Sensei, Aki, Forensic, Technic, Cole, JFJ, Mystic, Woody. Leprechaun, Jacob L, Go Go, Zeppeli, Sheber, Steam, Riger, Rila, Jolie, Baroness for BBC, What and Sherlock's Zoom, Sillart, Ami, Borshock, Shrimp, Ami, A, Walnut, Wall, Shiny, Catu, P, Diego, Garcia, Our Knights, Boomer, Emily. Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick Rat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Conjuring Scribes, Yo Chris Hunt, Fulfill of Written Words, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla, Mega Zero, Big Kerbo, Who Needs to Sleep, Leia, Yakta, S, Chris, Seer, Marriage of Me. Thank em, thank em, gotta thank em all, gotta thank em all our Patreons. But with that all out of the way, let's get back into the game. The game. Video games. Oh, Zach, uh, while we have everybody here, should we do that thing really fast that Chris told us to do? Oh my God, yes, thank you for reminding me. Hey folks, Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, we just finished the Sonic, Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog series. So Monday nights are getting a new series. Guess what that series is gonna be? It's Yakuza with me, with Wes, and with Chris who has played every single Yakuza game. Uh, we're gonna start with Yakuza Zero, Get mad hyped. Going to Japan in the eighties, baby. Yeah, the Yakuza Zero. I've I've played Zero before. I think the only person who hasn't played it is Zach. Correct. Uh, and it's it's a fucking ride. It's so much fun. It's one of the funniest. It, it's so full of personality. Uh, the game's fun. There's so many goofy, stupid mini games. Mm-hmm. One of the mini games in that game is even more fun than the actual game, and I'm very excited <laughs> for us to get lost in that part. Very good. So, yeah, it's it's a really good game. Okay, I'm I'm so excited for it. So, uh, that'll be Monday. Get hype, folks. Okay. Uh, all right. I think I remember what's going on now. The inconsistency explained. <laughs> Sorry, the LGBT community just gifted us three dollars. Thank you very much. We're big fans well, of y'all you. and your work. Thank you, the combined LGBTQ community. That's very nice. Uh, I, yeah. I'm not saying this because we appreciate it, everything you do. <laughs> I'm not saying this because it gets us money. I'm saying it because it genuinely is my favorite bit when y'all make really funny donation names and give us money, like. Damon Gant giving us fifty dollars was genuinely like such a good oh, moment. Really oh funny. my god, that was that was probably incredibly well timed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was one of the top ones. 
Oh, All right. God. Uh, all right. <clears throat> to be clear, I'm still at the stage of gathering data in my research. My hypothesis states that kinesis, the kinesis cannot transport metal, though. Hence, the metal weapon would have stayed put. In other words, the point just raised by Mr. Narahodo isn't an inconsistency at all. Mr. Assman was the patron of my research. Without him, my work wouldn't have been possible. <laughs> Somebody named Thanks Zach. I really try. Also, just gifted a dollar. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now I have a duty to protect the incredible machine that we built together. <laughs> so, the thrust of your testimony, Professor, is... <laughs> <laughs> you said thrust. That based upon... <laughs> That's based. That's based, <laughs> Your Honor. That based upon his hypothesis, metal objects cannot be moved by his, this method of instantaneous kinesis. In other words... In other words, since the screwdriver is made of metal, even if it remained lodged in the victim's chest, its subsequent discovery on the stage, despite the victim being found elsewhere, is not an inconsistency. And therefore... Judge, come on. And therefore, <laughs> Professor Albert Hairbrain could still have been the killer. Yes, exactly! Why are you oh, doing shit. this right now? <laughs> My great hypothesis holds! You see? We, we had to make the cage used to contain the subject from wood for that very reason. Oh, okay. I was not addressing you, witness. I was about to say, I was like, wait a minute, wasn't the cage that he was transported in metal? Like, that was gonna be my my objection, but I guess not. Yeah, it was fucking metal, dude. Um, Professor Hairbrain? Yes? Shut the fuck up! Whose side are you on here? I don't take sides, Mr. Narahodo. No, no, no. You fucking idiot. My only interest lies in upholding my hypothesis. I am a scientist, after all. <sighs> Is he working for us or against us? It's very hard to tell. <laughs> all of a sudden, the Death Note blue and red starts coming up behind them, and then the <laughs> fucking choral music starts playing. Let's see how you cross-examine this testimony, my Nipponese friend. Yes, fire away, fire away, Mr. Narahodo. Sure, stand still. <laughs> Don't Hit me with me. your best shot. <laughs> Don't tap me, you jackass. <laughs> oh, very good. Uh, really quick. <laughs> to be clear, uh, let's say, hypothetically, I'm still at the stage of uh, ex ex gathering my data. Uh... I don't know if this is what they're wanting us to do, but technically I assume that this is gold or like a metal. Oh, or like maybe even this. Glasses. Nah, it's probably not metal, but yeah. Yeah, those are very clearly wood. Look oh, the, the, his straps look wood. Yeah, that, that is definitely yeah. wood, and this is definitely wood, but that feels... Yeah, I mean, it looks metallic. I don't know. So... Gathering data cannot transmit metal. I mean, it's it, it metal. It's not like iron. Yeah. Iron. Yeah, I mean, you could try it. We have five strikes. True. Uh... Objection. Look at that. Oh, okay. wow. Easy. Shit. Wow. Easy. Well done. Well done. Oh, 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 baby. <laughs> Starting off good. We've been been gone for two weeks, and here we are. Nobody, nobody could even tell. <laughs> Professor Hairbrain, you say that according to your hypothesis, nothing made of metal can be beamed by instantaneous kinesis us using the machine that you made. Is that right? 
clearly, Mr. Assman couldn't have been bean because of his buns of steel. <laughs> yes, that's right. Spot on. Exactly correct. In that case, I'd ask you to have a look at this photograph that was taken at the scene. Okay, well, nah, Zach. I'd ask you to have a look at this photograph that was taken at the scene. He really said it. I have to, I have to give it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the law. In particular, I'd like you to pay attention to the victim's face. Look at that mustache. What was he God, doing? He's he's gorgeous. <laughs> oh no, he's hot. <laughs> you can clearly see that Mr. Assman was wearing a pair of spectacles with a metal rim. What? Metal? No, metal cat. That's not metal. No! We've already established. Metal gear? <laughs> <laughs> We've already established that the proposed murder weapon, the screwdriver, was found at the stage. However, if your hypothesis correctly predicted the outcome, it should also have predicted that the metal rimmed spectacles would be found in the same place. Oh, my hypothesis! MY HYPOTHESIS! Professor Hairbrain, this isn't easy for me to say, but your hypothesis is clearly flawed! Doesn't easy for me to say. <laughs> order! 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 Council, what is the implication of this? I do appreciate the whole this this whole trial is just gonna be like, no 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 he he he's not actually that smart. This can't work physically. So therefore he <laughs> couldn't have been a murderer. But could it work hypothetically? <laughs> if on the day in question the alleged instantaneous kinesis never actually took place, then it's entirely possible that the victim was killed somewhere other than on the stage. And in that case, someone other than the defendant could have been the culprit. But, but my hypothesis, my hypothesis is sound. I proved it that day. The experiment was a success. The experiment was proof of all my work. If I could say something here in my capacity as a fellow of the Royal Society. I forgot about the jury in this case so far, yeah. Yes, sure, number four. Girl. <laughs> Go ahead. And pretty booba lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As a man of science, there's one thing I simply cannot abide. And David. And that's science. <laughs> <laughs> and David Blaine. And that's a fraud who pretends to be a fellow man of science. What? Wait! Great Scott! Are you suggesting my science is suspect? It's just been disproved, hasn't it? In front of all of us. In other words, the whole demonstration was a complete nonsense from start to finish. Believe me, my fellow jurors, when I tell you that this man is a heel, a bounder, and a fraud. But he's not a murderer, right? <laughs> well, So, we can all go home? <laughs> the newspaper! <laughs> I say the wreckage of that machine should be stripped down and thoroughly examined. No! Never! That machine is the essence of my entire hypothesis! It's protected by the Special Dispensation for Scientific Equipment Act! Right, right, this is the whole thing. What the devil is that blasted act all about, eh? Who made up such a daft rule? I don't like the, like the way this seems to be going. What's the best way for me to help the professor? Uh... I mean, I would say raise an objection what? to be like, Hey, this proves that he didn't do it, though, because that's what we're trying to do. I want to wait and see, because I like watching this guy get dunked on. But your but your answer yeah, is better do for it. the game. No, yeah, let's, watch him get dunked yeah, on. Let, him, let his ass get roasted. That's fun. <laughs> watch him fry. <laughs> I mean, the game's gonna save us no matter what. So maybe I should watch and wait for the time being. Maybe I should let this guy get dunked on. <laughs>
My feeling is that the machine requires a thorough examination. But what about this special dispensation that's been mentioned? Oh gosh, this is all too much. Metasaur, thank you for the raid. <clears throat> if it's determined that the machine itself was the murder weapon, I think you'll find that act won't com won't apply. Of course it was the murder weapon. Anyone can see that as plain as day. So we're all in agreement, are we? That the machine should be stripped. Uh, if if I don't do something, they'll strip the machine. I was gonna say, why do we care if the machine gets stripped? We uh, we technically shouldn't. Yeah, I, I mean, Hairbrain was like, that's the only thing I care about is that they don't strip. Well, search the I machine. don't. Well, <laughs> but, yeah. but I don't. <laughs> Well, is... I don't give a shit about your dumb invention. It's dumb anyway. This is why you got a one on <laughs> ethics, Pritch. <laughs> Technically not. Because <laughs> I'm here to vigorously represent my client. Yeah. By that, Unethically. I mean, <laughs> and Pritch will do whatever he needs to do to make it happen. <clears throat> ethics also, be I want to emphasize this guy's invention is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Hairbrain has yet to perfect his invention. That would seem to be the case, yes. But even so... Even so, what? Going to such trouble and expense to create a fake machine to display in public, he would have absolutely no reason to do such a thing. Unless, you know, he's crazy? You're not crazy, are you? <laughs> He had an obvious reason to do exactly that. For the research grant money. Uh, I guess that makes sense. If the government was foolish enough to have deemed the man's ridiculous notion plausible, he and his conspirators would have received a handsome sum indeed. C conspirators What would be the value of such a grant? Ten pounds? Uh, like way more than that. You're an order of magnitude out, madam. Mm. Five hundred pounds a year. Damn. <clears throat> Which I think would be like fifty thousand dollars a year. Somebody in the chat will do the math <clears throat> and let us know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. You can live on some on that much for years. What is it? Oh, R. I think it's just like it's the sound. It's the sound of it's the sound corn. of corn. Corn. I guess that makes sense. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, let me let me take that one more time. Oh, <laughs> you can leave it up. There you go. That's what it is. That's what it is. The society has noticed an increase in bogus public demonstrations in the field of science recently. And plenty of scientists arguing with each other to get the largest slice of the funding cake. People's greed is plenty motive enough for murder, I assure you. Why are you... <laughs> this is a weird thing to be coming from a juror scientist, I don't know. Like, let me tell you what a, what a grounds for murder is. No, no, no! I haven't deceived anyone, least of all the government. My hypothesis is sound. The science is sound. Please, you must believe me. I don't. <laughs> no matter how unbelievable this hypothesis may seem to you, ladies and gentlemen, the fact remains that the victim was transported instantly to the Crystal Tower, which means that the experiment was a success. Ah, oh, Beric! You fucking idiot. <laughs> and therefore, the only person who could possibly have committed this murder is the accused. Ah, oh, Be- Oh! <laughs> ah. Beric! Beric! That's- Okay, that was- that was good- that was a good joke. I'll give him that one. Yeah. Uh. Uh, also, uh, add them in the chat says that would be upwards of seventy to seventy-five thousand dollars a year. It's pretty good money. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a lot of that's a lot of doubloons. It's uh, it's, 
That's more than what I make. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me three. Where is this heading? I have no idea. What yes, do you mean? You do. Yeah, he's gonna say that he fucking <laughs> killed him. Like, what? <laughs> Where am I? My lord, if I may. Yes, Lord Van Zeex. The prosecution would like to summon new witnesses to the stand. New witnesses? Uh, what would be the nature of their involvement? They were spectators of the demonstration at the exhibition who were occupying <laughs> special seats. <laughs> Wait, like, like a, a box seat to view this or Yeah. I witnessed No, they were they were in the they were in the balloon, maybe. <laughs> So the aliens. Actually, you know what? I bet it. I bet. I bet they were in the balloon. I'm calling <laughs> it right now. Uh, very well. Uh, the court grants the prosecution's request. I should very much like to hear from eyewitnesses to the incident. The prosecution's stance is clear. This experiment was no pastiche yeah oh god is it pastiche was no pistachio <laughs> i yeah I, i've seen pastiche used before but yeah like, no, I, I think very it's pastiche, rarely yeah. it's been a long time pastiche what does it mean uh, like a like a fake i think at least in this context a, a counterfeit or substitute yeah yeah yeah, or, and as an adjective, artificial or made up. Okay, okay. great. <clears throat> the accused killed the financier victim there on the public stage before the very eyes of the spectators. Now, my learned friend. Oh, uh, yes. It's time for you to make your own stance clear. It's clearly a flaw in the professor's hypothesis. I can definitely see that. But where does that leave me? We shall take a short recess now, during which time the prosecution will prepare its new witnesses to take the stand. And by that I mean he'll tell them to omit stuff that's it's inconvenient for him. As you wish, my lord. I will do exactly that. Yeah. Good. In that case, court is adjourned for 20 British minutes. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. All right. Yeah. Woo. I feel like we, we got through some good stuff today. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> making some good progress on this. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. All right, so uh, <clears throat> Zach's going to be out of town next week, so we'll see no. you in two weeks again. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Silver Warrior 6 made a very good joke. Every 60 minutes in Britain, an hour passes. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> That's very good. I like that. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Bless you. Dog, bless you. Thank, thank you. Bless you. The power in that sneeze. I get it. I get it from my dad and my uncle. That's. I. I might have said this on stream before. <laughs> Growing up, every dad I knew had the loudest fucking sneeze in the world yeah. by like a significant <laughs> amount. So as a kid, I genuinely thought in my head, like, oh, once you become a father, your sneezes just get louder, <laughs> which is an idiot thing to think. But I was like, oh, but it's, it's an adorable thing for a kid. To think. Yeah, I was like, it's uh -huh. like an interesting hypothesis, and then I became like. 16 and i was like no my sneezes are just little, loud little zach is like my hypothesis holds <laughs> the science is sound <laughs> <laughs> i killed that uh, man because men sneeze loudly when they get older <laughs> listen i grew up i grew up the loudest sneezer in my family was my grandmother my mom my dad's mm. mom and her sneeze was so funny because there was no build-up she just like <laughs> Let loose a fucking scream. Oh so no! Her sneeze, her sneeze would literally just be, ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> no! 
<laughs> I hate that. That is so funny. Fuck. It's like there wasn't there wasn't like the there wasn't like the the like little plosive part. It was like just mouth open, just. <laughs> <laughs> It's awesome. <laughs> That's so fucking funny to me. <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, Wes, do you uh, remember? Do you remember the person you. we went we to college with? Uh, oh yeah, who would <laughs> piss me the fuck <laughs> off? Because I was like, "You're fucking faking. You are not really sneezing like that." And Debbie was like, "No, I have like, to no, sneeze that's like how that." I sneeze. <laughs> And me and my roommate would just make the fucking. F- we would make fun of her so much for that goddamn sneeze. <laughs> Wow. She would get so mad at it. I'm like, you don't have to say new at the end of your sneeze. <laughs> Deserve my manager to have saying, my mom was married to a guy who sneezed incredibly loudly six times in a row. Wait. Oh, God. Does that mean your mom had six marriages and all of them were incredibly loud sneezers? <laughs> or that one of them sneezed six times in a row very loudly? Six, six husbands in a row, the loudest, <laughs> kept getting progressively louder. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Can you hear the people sneeze? Sneeze in the sneeze. 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 <laughs> Brilliant. 10 out of 10. Oh, you nailed, you nailed the landing on that when one. When I get lazy, I just replace every word. Every oh, word of song with the same word. Yeah. <laughs> my my favorite musical is Lay. Ha! <laughs> oh, Lake's, Lake's musical? <laughs> yeah. Lay. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, the musical. Yeah, we, we now on Broadway. So, we have gotten so off rails. What are we doing again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, hey, uh, we're, we're in the pause. We're in the pause. It's fine. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay. You're gonna, you're gonna mess up your nails if you keep doing that. You're gonna die if you keep contradicting me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Norahodo. What on earth were you playing at just now? Or rather... What on earth were you playing at at all along? My hypothesis! My amazing hypothesis! You've been picking holes in it from the start! Uh... Sorry about that. But you promised me! You, you said you'd prove that dratted explosion was an accident, not murder. You said you'd keep my precious invention from falling into anyone else's hands. But all you've done so far is try to undermine me. Yes, I did make you a promise. You're right. I said that I'd believe in you and fight for your freedom to the very end. But I also told you I was no scientist. I don't understand your <laughs> hypothesis. I can't understand your accent. <laughs> the fact is, there's an undeniable flaw in your lo- in your logic, isn't there? Uh, but if I just run through some equations, yes, you see, it's because my work is incomplete. Perhaps it is. Nevertheless, a man died as a consequence, didn't he? Oh, oh no! Don't act like I'm the first person to tell you this. This is like... He's dead? (laughs) Nobody told me that! You're right. You're so right. It's all my fault. And I have no right to blame you for my failures. I'm a disaster. Not just as a scientist, but as a human being. Okay, man, like I don't need the guilt now. (laughs) Well, that might be a little over the top. And while we're on the subject, what about Barrack? He's being awful. Yeah, well, that's just him. I don't know if you've talked to him <laughs> yeah, in like changed, 10 years. He's changed a lot since his varsity days. He's, he's kind of an <laughs> asshole now. Yeah, he, old... hasn't, he hasn't he hasn't donned the sailor suit in quite some time. <laughs> he's not the little darling of the Van Zeeks family. <laughs> he, he's not the little darling he once was. <laughs> when you said Sailor Moon, I can only think of like Sailor Moon. Oh Sailor my suits. god. He, he hasn't been a magical girl for a long time. Fuck. Yeah. Barrack Van Zeke's doing the magical girl transformation sequence is so good. 
<laughs> Moon Prism Power! <laughs> Claiming his old university friend to be a murderer, you mean? He's a disaster! Not just as a prosecutor, but as a human being! Ah, oh, pretty good. Oh, but no, wait! He's the Reaper, isn't he? Perhaps he's not classified as Homo sapiens anymore. Oh, he's Homo, all right. <laughs> he's Homo something. Ah, <laughs> uh, got it. He's just not sapien. <laughs> we had, we had, to, we. That's that's the lowest hanging fruit this game yeah. has ever <laughs> given us. I mean, like if I didn't say it, I guarantee you in two seconds, either one of you the or chat the chat would have all blown over it. up. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Zach, you're just quicker on the draw yeah. there. <laughs> Glad that's cleared up. <laughs> Can I double check something with you? Uh, yes? What? The machine and the demonstration you prepared. They were based entirely on your hypothesis, I presume. There was no trickery involved? Oh, is he secretly David Blaine? <laughs> is he secret? Is he secretly Chris? A is about his to freak breakdown? He turns into Chris Angel, and he mind freaks. No, us. Chris Angel is the third juror. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot that we There's had magician Chris juror. Angel. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, he didn't say shit no. in that last bit. No. Although he's much more of a Houdini type. That's true. Yeah. He's not, he's not going to mind right. freak anyone. <laughs> David Copperfield. Yeah, he's, yeah he's, a cop. he's a Copperfield. I drew the plans for the machine with my very own hands. All Copperfields are bastards. <laughs> Every line was painstakingly drawn with the firm belief that science is the only future. Thank you for laughing Wes, at still, that bridge. Laugh, Thank Wes, you for I'm laughing, laughing at, at that bridge. I'm still laughing at that bridge. <laughs> 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 all, all cop or fields are fast. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, sorry. Do you want to read this one more time? I, I feel me. bad. No, no. I, I thought it, the the intention, the emotion was there. Okay, okay, great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it's true that my hypothesis hasn't reached maturity yet. But please, Mister Norahodo. You must believe in it. Wait, it's true that my hypothesis hasn't reached maturity yet? Oh, oh no! Zero out of ten. Literally Yikes. unplayable. Oh. God, this is such a we bad game. Why are we oh. playing this bad game? Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Make it dizzy. said $40. <laughs> Wait, wasn't this 60 when it came out? No, it was forty when it came. Oh, out. okay. All right, let's feel so bad about no, that. No, no, forty dollar. <laughs> All hey, right, listen, Chad. Professor. He's he's a scientist. Nobody said he was an English major. Yeah, he he didn't get a four on his AP test. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, Professor. I understand. Counsel, defendant. The prosecution's witnesses are ready to take the stand. Court is about to be in session again. I like this scratchy-voiced bailiff. <laughs> Make your way into the courtroom, please. <clears throat> it all hinges on that demonstration. If the professor's hypothesis is, is, is as sound as he claims, leaves him as the only person who could possibly have killed his victim. The victim. But on the other hand, Mr. Sholmes was adamant. I see some people saying, oh, it's British Mike Meekins. But no, British Mike Meekins is Mike Mingins. That's, uh, Fuck. that's his name. That was good. <laughs> A practical implementation such as was attempted by the professor at the Great Exhibition is quite impossible. So really, what should I be trying to prove here? That it couldn't be done, therefore he's not the murderer. Boom. Told, solved it for you, Ryan. Good job. <laughs>
Uh, and mail in to your 10 bit saying, I, I really want an answer for this. Uh, what is a defense attorney's priority, the best possible verdict, or following the demands and wishes of your client? That's actually a good one. I think you answered this once before, but. Yeah, so you sort of have to follow. Well, so here's the thing with this weird case. Like, you obviously have to follow. No, I guess technically you have to follow the will of your client. It's just your decision what strategies and techniques you should take to get there. Really? Yeah. Huh. Like, obviously, they are the ones who get to plead and stuff. That's true. Fair. Yeah, I mean, I guess at any point he could just be like, no, I'm guilty, but that proves that my thing was real. That science right. is real. Yeah. <laughs> it's real. Okay. <clears throat> All right, video games, what do you got for us this time? That's In right. In the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I hereby reconvene the proceedings of this court. God, I wish that the queen was a fucking character in this game. <laughs> that would be incredible. <laughs> That's funny. Counsels for the defense and prosecution, are you ready for the new witnesses to testify? The prosecution is ready, my lord. As is the defense, my lord. So, Lord Van Zeeks. I believe these next witnesses saw the demonstration on the day in question with their own eyes. Indeed they did. And as luck would have it, one of them is a police detective. So the testimony we are about to hear can be considered highly unreliable. No, 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 no. yeah, like, <laughs> god damn it. If Perfect. we've learned anything from police detectives, it's that <laughs> everything they say is true and they don't lie to cover up government secrets. Yeah. Perfect. A or lie so they Or lie so they can have more time to take their wife on an anniversary date. <laughs> A detective of all people. The prosecution's stance remains unchanged. Prince, that's a damn good point. The only two times we've had police officers on the stand, they fucking lied. What the fuck? <laughs> Though it ended in tragedy, the demonstration on the day in question was scientifically sound. Y'all are way too comfortable with teleportation being affected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And consequently, the sole person with the opportunity to have committed this act of murder is the only other individual to have been present on the stage at the time, the accused. Thank you, counsel. The prosecution's position is clear. So, bring forth your witnesses now. Bailiff, show the witnesses in. The witnesses whose proximity to the incident on the day in question will clarify the truth unequivocally. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh! Wow, it oh, is I... a balloon guy. Holy shit. Yeah. Who the All fuck right. is this is yeah. looking cool, Joker? Is that is that the fucking villain from Resident Evil 4 with the mask on? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Are you talking about Salazar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little, little tiny Salazar. Mr. Mr. Narahodo. <clears throat> I sent my right hand to deal with you. God. Your right hand comes off? <laughs> Witnesses, state your names and occupations for the court to hear. Oh, okay. I mean, that's a g Also, look at the little flame yeah, in his head. I mean, his design oh, is wow. incredible. Like, so good. That's, yeah, that's actually pretty incredible. Like, you know instantly what this man's fucking occupation is. Yeah. Uh, what do I want to do for this guy? I kind of want to do like it. My name is Balthazar Lune. I like that. I like That's that. Good. That's and his, good. Yeah, his name is Balloon too. Bal, Balloon. Very good. 
I am the impresario of all the hot air balloons in the vicinity of the Esperimento stage. Okay, so he is actually Italian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, wow, this guy's German. There we go. <laughs> what the fuck is his name? My name is Wilhelm Gostrich Sigismund Ormstein. <laughs> Ormstein and Smoke? Oh, God. Make that edit. Wait, holy shit, are they, are, are they combined, Ornstein and Smoke? <laughs> yeah, Wilhelm no, Gottreich Sigismund Ormstein. Chat, it's what's the joke? O R M. Chat, what's the joke? Uh... The joke is, what's this kid gonna be doing in 30 years? <laughs> <laughs> holy shit, Bridge! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh god. I have come to see the great exhibition all the way from my home in Bohemia. Whoa! Aww. Aww. Capitalism. <laughs> I'm very I'm very rich. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> weird, weird flex, bro. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> What's your job? I'm very rich. Okay. <laughs> Say no more. Oh my god. I'm also, as you can see by my pin, I am a Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> Inspector Gina Lestrade, Scotland Yard. I'm a great detective. Even Erlock Sholmes agrees. I was on security duty at the exhibition, and I got to go up in one of them balloons. It was amazing! Gina... Again? But she did mention that she'd seen the disaster from up in a balloon, actually, didn't she? <laughs> Just how happy oh, she how, is. Look, she's like... Good for she's, her! She deserves she's, it. She does deserve look some her, happiness, she's, for sure. She's cheesing it! Look at her cheesing it! And she clearly loved every minute of it. There were three balloons flying near the public experimentation stage when the incident occurred. Two of these witnesses were in one such balloon at the time and saw events unfold from the skies above. Fucking called it! You really did. You did. Uh, you make it a sound like they were oh. in the clouds. It was only an altitude of a circa 60 feet, a very low. Dude is really pulling that. He should be putting a woman on the train tracks right now with that mustache. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't see nothing if you fly too high, can you? 60 feet. About 18 meters, then. I'm glad that he's like, I don't fucking know measurements. Come on, dog. <laughs> oh, wait. Does that mean he's Dahlia Hawthorne's ancestor? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you for your introductions. Now, you will give your formal testimony for the court. Kindly describe exactly what you witnessed. Especially those of you who had a vantage point above the stage. God, I this, still can't this, get over him. This kid creeps me out. Yes. I don't like him. Fucking horrifying. Also, where this are your parents? This is a nightmare, parents? child. Where are your yeah, parents? And, and what is wrong with your head? I'm sure we'll find out. He hit it while he was actually trying to kill this man or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's, listen, you made the joke first. He's a rich German kid in the early 1900s. Maybe he is see? a murderer. See? <laughs> <laughs> you condemned me, but now you're starting to see. <laughs> oh, how the mighty have oh, fallen. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> It was an incident, terribly. I am only grateful that my balloons were not damaged. There's this huge bang from the stage, yeah? And in the next second, another bang in the sky beside us. And from amidst the smoke, a cage appeared out of nowhere. The cage, it fell from the sky like a stone and crashed into the crystal tower. 
I didn't get a good look inside this cage, but no one went near it after it crashed into the tower. Wes, uh, mad props to you. That's three different, very distinct accents that you have to switch between rapidly. <laughs> and I didn't think about it until that moment. I was like, damn, okay, good job, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I prefer that they're distinct. Yeah. That makes it easier in my head to separate them. Mm -hmm. When they're, because that's something I'm self conscious about is that all my British people are going to start sounding the same. No, it gets just, difficult. Like, I mean, there are, only, there are only so many British ways of talking. Yeah. <laughs> For so sure. If that, if that starts to happen, I don't think anyone's going to blame you. Yeah. How dare you? How no, dare you? The how British you, people will blame me. How dare you have to voice seven different old British men and having some of the voices <laughs> sound vaguely similar? <laughs> <clears throat> Most extraordinary collective account, I must say. Could I just clarify something? What the fuck is up with this child? <laughs> There's a detail in the witness's testimony that I've not heard any mention of until now. Specifically, that there were two explosions. More precisely, two explosions in two separate places, yes. All right, this diagram. When the demonstration oh. began, the balloon carrying the two witnesses was around here. That's like genuinely wildly close to the... Stage. I was going to say, there's probably some safety issues from the start with that. Yeah. Eh, it's the early 20th century. Nobody gave a shit about safety. It's true. There were other balloons in the air nearby at the time, carrying other passengers as well, to be clear. The aliens in the audience are like, yes, they were <laughs> just balloons and not our uh, human spacecraft. <laughs> Then, as power was supplied to the machine for the demonstration, the first explosion occurred. The so-called bird cage that contained the victim disappeared from the stage and a moment later... Shot down one yeah, of what? the balloons. Holy shit. <laughs> that, that looks like they just they murdered a whole balloon them. Of purple. <laughs> The second explosion occurred directly adjacent to the balloon carrying the witnesses. <laughs> oh, he just got bonked on the head a little bit. He's fine. <laughs> the bird cage appeared at the site of the explosion, subsequently to plummet down into the crystal tower. Mega Dizzy Super Fighter said, Your Majesty, a second hot air balloon has hit Big Ben. Holy shit! <laughs> No! <laughs> Honestly, I'm disappointed in myself for not making that joke first, but damn. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> God damn it. Wow. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that's... God, that got me. That's really Yeah, no, funny. it's incredibly funny. It's just, it's just the the part that's the funniest to me for some reason is the Your Majesty. Your Majesty, part. yeah. And so yeah. it's sir, yeah. second plane is in the yeah. <laughs> No, it's, it's just, really good. Your Majesty. <sighs> Sorry, I genuinely forget. Did you say this one? Yeah, I'll say it again. <laughs> Thank you. The bird cage appeared at the site of the explosion, subsequently to plummet down into the crystal tower. I was very surprised. Suddenly, a cage appeared before my eyes with a person inside. <gasps> the blast was so hot, but I didn't want to miss a thing, so I kept my eyes wide. He dropped, he lost the balloon. Is he going to give him another one? Yeah! He's going to buy another one! <laughs> In case you didn't know, he's very Also, rich. I still have Whoa! lots of money! <laughs> <laughs> Holy sh- this kid is flexing so Yo, this hard! this kid sucks! Also? I was- I was just about to make that joke, and then the game, the fact that the game made that joke, the game is so fucking so, God, that's funny. That's I so funny. hope to God that at some point Gina pickpockets him in the middle of this trial. Oh my God. Gina leaves? Oh, I have so much money now. Yeah. 
Chili's is on me. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck. That's it's so I, good. I, I cannot describe how funny that was to me oh, because I was like, "You ran." Because I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna make that joke." He's like, <laughs> "And I'm still this super rich kid." And then he's like, "No, no, no, I'm gonna make the joke for you, Wes. Don't worry. You got me, kid. Thank you." Precisely, who is this curious infant? <laughs> God. I'm told he is a young noble of Bohemian royalty. I, I do want to point out Mel in Cheer Tempet saying, to make this clear as a German, he is not German. He is from Bohemia, which was a kingdom in what is today the Czech Republic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's crazy. There we go. <clears throat> Mama just killed the ass man. <laughs> the Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, very good. Apparently, he disguised himself in order to steal unnoticed into the Great Exhibition. Yeah, I am here in London on the sightseeing trip with my elementary school. Wow. We will have to the benefit of a child's point of view in the testimony. Do we really need that? <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, he took off his mask. Okay. He's less scary without the mask. Yeah. Oh, I think he's actually scarier. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes are kind of dead, Pridge. I will mm. give you that. Then I will move my mask. This is what I look like. Okay. Ah, yes, I see. <laughs> A delightful face, I'm sure. Yeah, everybody says so. Okay, Gots, calm the fuck down. <laughs> Great disguise, then. The point is, the testimony of these witnesses further substantiates the facts for the court. Namely, that despite ending in an explosion, instantaneous kinesis was successfully demonstrated. And furthermore, that until the arrival of the police, no one approached the crystal tower where the victim fell. Therefore, only the accused, who was with Mr. Assman on the stage, could possibly have committed the murder. Yes, thank you, Counsel. Uh, the prosecution's views on the matter are quite clear. So, the defense's cross-examination now, please. Y yes, my lord. Oh, okay. I'm just a sweet little boy. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> a view from 60 feet up. Uh, like Incendente. Terrible. Terrible. I'm not going to lie. I didn't see anything. Yeah, this is probably going to be a presser. Let's this press. might be a lot of pressing. Yeah. But I hardly know her. There were three balloons flying above the experimentation stage at the time, I understand. I see, I see, yeah. All three of them by Bellissima Bambini. <laughs> they are a very popular senior. Some people will pay ten pounds for one ride. Ten pounds? That's more than my annual stipend. Twenty pounds a month. That is my pocket money. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Royals have all the luck. I got up there for free, I did. Play the old, I work for Her Majesty's police card, you know. Detectives have all the <laughs> luck. <laughs> if they're so popular, why would you why would you be only operating such a small number of balloons, though? Uh, because if I have two minutes in disguise, they could crash into each other. That's a good point. The operators for the balloons <laughs> would <laughs> the operators for the balloons were decided by lots, with each operator manning a particular area. See, and the zone above the public experimentation stage is the most profitable. I love experimentation, that's good. The other impresarios they hate me. <laughs> 
Those other balloon guys, they fucking hate my guts! Hey, fucking hate me. You see those other balloon guys? They hate me because of my prices. <laughs> Thank you, witness. I think the court has a clear picture of the arrangements for balloon rides at the exhibition. Perhaps we could hear more about what you actually witnessed of the incident? Right, I can figure in there, my lord. You know, several people in the chat making such good jokes of other impresarios hate him, click to learn his secrets on ballooning, and impresarios <laughs> hate him with this one weird trick. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Uh, huge bang. Yeah, let's learn about these bangs. <clears throat> Bridge, are you eating ice cream soup right now? Pudding. Almost, almost <laughs> the same thing. I just loved, I just loved the pudding. Pudding. <laughs> I, did, I, had, I did not change. I did not do anything to change the consistency. <laughs> can you, can you change the consistency of pudding? It's difficult to. <laughs> Bridges I mean, try. He, he didn't say no. He didn't say no. This is all my prior knowledge of pudding. <laughs> What's the science of pudding? So you actually the only saw science I care about. <laughs> so you actually saw the incident happen from up in the air. Yup. In it. She said in it. Wow. Isn't it amazing what a detective gets to do, eh? I'm telling you, Odo, being a lawyer's a mug game. You should join the force and we can go flying together. You know me so well. <laughs> yes, well, anyway, could you tell us exactly what you saw, do you think? Everything. We saw everything because we were up above it all. That dodgy cove climbing into the cage, and, and that dodgy professor pulling all them levers. And that's when it happened. That's when there was that massive bang, and the cage disappeared. Just like that. Hmm. You are describing the moment the subject's body was decomposed by the electricity, I believe. <laughs> I, I didn't know what to make of it, but then... There was another bang right in my ear. I looked around and there was a huge, great fireball right next to us in the sky. Nope. Oh God, wait, I need to hear him do it. We need to, we need to go back because I need to hear what his voice sounds like. That's he said something <laughs> not in English, so. Yeah, I did not understand him, no. but. I like that, I like that little. Mm -hmm. I like that little. That, mm -hmm. Is that piffle? Is that what people are saying? Oh, like that that's piffle. Mm. That's that's wrong. Excuse me. But that's a lie. Excuse me, uh, rich boy with a lot of money who loves to tell me about it. Um, <clears throat> uh, Master Gotz, does your memory of the day differ? My teacher at elementary school said that when you meet someone for the first time, you should always use their full name. Uh, yes. Um, what was it again? Wilhelm Gottreich Sigismund Omstein. <laughs> Just the four names, then. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the point is, do you have something to say? Something to add in response to Detective Gina Lestrade's last remark, perhaps? Oi, get it right, Odo. It's Inspector Lestrade. Why does everyone have a problem with how I address them at the moment? That is not what I saw. Oh? Yeah. There was a second explosion, and it was right beside our balloon. That is true. But I'm sure... Which is what I said, In it, One minute there was nothing there, then next a massive explosion. She's about to fight this kid. Yeah. 
My teacher at elementary school said that when someone else is speaking, if you are rude enough to interrupt, you will have the most awful life imaginable. Holy shit, he's about to fight her. <laughs> are all bohemians brought up to be so full of joy? I mean, I believe that's where we get the phrase bohemian lifestyle. Mm. Do, please do it again, do it again. Ah, you cowards. He's done bragging about his wealth. Mm. Just before the second explosion happened next to our balloon, I clearly witnessed. Oh, so I like that she is now twirling a coin in her hands. Uh-huh. She's like, yeah, I got one too. What up? <laughs> what up? You're not doing with money. A green balloon flying in the sky. A green balloon? 99 loops balloons? <laughs> God damn it. Gina, stop being a meme. Yeah. Hey, you what? I never saw nothing like that. Well, I did. I saw it, and you can't say I didn't. I will complain to the console. I will cry and scream. My testimony is the truth. I am Bohemian Prince. You cannot say it's a lie. That is not allowed. <laughs> Playing the bleeding royalty card, are you? Typical. Damn. Says the orphan who likes to remind people that she works for Her Majesty's police. In that case, young man, I must ask you to amend your formal testimony. In the interests of cordial national relations between Great Britain and <laughs> Bohemia... It was not the sky that exploded. It was a green balloon that was next to ours at the time. Okay, well, that's huge. Uh, also... Oh! It's made of rubber! Balloon. Okay, so he's telling the truth. Yeah. Well, the question is, like, do we press it or do we, like, present uh, I this? I press it for now. Yeah. No, because that's not an objection. Yeah, that's not a contradiction. We're not, we're not disagreeing. We're like, hey, yeah, this is the balloon. A green balloon, you say? Are you sure about that? Of course I am sure. I am proud bohemian prince. All these questions are making me boring. Okay. I think you mean bored. <laughs> Ugh. English is very annoying. The language of my countrymen is far superior. Ragazzo, it is a very long, oh. wrong to lie. Yo, the Italian's like, no, no, fuck your language. I don't like it. <laughs> lie? A flying balloons and never uh. explode. For the same reason that planets never explode, it is illogical. Wait, what? Please tell me that doesn't mean logical. If you insult me, you insult all of Bohemia. That's hilarious. Yo, kid, your country is going to stop existing in 20 years. <laughs> You're fucked. I don't... Madai! You don't, don't make it. You means. don't make it past World War I. I will have the army come and shoot all your stupid balloons out oh of the God. sky. All of them! Holy shit. <laughs> Look, hey, yeah, uh, what, what is this like, kid doing in 30 years? <laughs> I was going to say, I, I know Bohemia <laughs> is in Germany, but tell me this kid would not be a Nazi. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> True. Here you are, your highness. If only all international incidents were so easily resolved. God damn it. <laughs> now that the peaceful relations have been restored here in the courtroom, perhaps we could return to the testimony. Did you also see the moment that the cage materialized, Mr. Lune? No, no, I, I did not see the explosion, explosion myself. However, hmm. it's the thing where like that, th them adding this has to be important. You know what my theory right now is? Is there was this green balloon that was meant to explode to distract people, and then it was shot with the crossbow. To set off some explosion that was inside of it. Or he was shot with the crossbow bolt, but we'll see. 
Uh, I just want to see if it if it does something. I mean, the balloon could have been shot down by the crossbow. Did you say that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. I feel like presenting the balloon is. Well, wait. Did we did we look at it? I think we did uh, last time. There's like time. nothing to look at. Yeah. Oh yeah, we looked yeah, at it and they did. said it's yeah. thick, and it's not like a like a coat because it's yeah. too thick, which it leads us to believe that it's a balloon. Yeah. Let me just see what happens. Uh, oh, wrong button. Nah, music's still playing. <clears throat> okay. Whatever. Yeah, I think you just press. Okay. Not the sky. Yeah, balloon. Cage fell from the sky. It fell like a stone. Just the tower. I didn't get a good look inside the cage, but no one went near it after it crashed into the tower. Hmm. Yeah, let me press this too. <clears throat> Was it you who gave the order to keep people away? I. Use your head, Odo. How could it have been me? I was up in a balloon, weren't I? Right. So, because I were, because I weren't available, it was the boss who had to leg it over there. He was getting shoved and kicked all over the, by the panicking spectators as he tried to seal off the scene. It was a real sight to behold, I can tell you. Amazing. Poor Inspector Gregson. So, anyway, I couldn't see the cage that well because of the smoke. And I didn't really want to see, to be honest. I was scared out of my wits. Keep it together, Inspector. <laughs> Alright, give us a hint, game. Prosecution is really asserting that the demonstration was genuine. But what if it was actually some kind of switch-around trick instead? That would mean that the victim was never actually on the stage in the first place. Okay. Two explosions would have thrown everyone watching into a panic, for sure. I think I need to find out more about what exactly people saw at the time. Okay, so that's telling us to press. Was the incident terrible? I'm grateful that my balloons were not damaged. Oh! Now is this where we show the busted up balloon? Yeah, you could try that. Objection. Oh, hey, okay. Hey, hey, there it is. Nice. <sighs> Mr. Loon, in your testimony, you said that all three of the balloons you had operating at the time were undamaged. <clears throat> See, that is correct. If they had been caught in the explosion, it would have been terrible. I wonder if you might know what this is. I, I think it may be... I see a part of a balloon, a burnt piece of the fabric of the envelope. Sorry, Th the envelope? Do you mail balloons? Uh, pardon, that is the large round part of the balloon which becomes filled with hot air. It is made from a very thick fabric lined with a rubber. You do not want, to rip, want it to rip when you are in the sky. Just as I thought. This piece of cloth was found near the experimentation stage. In other words, as Master Gotts testified, a green balloon did indeed explode that day. Uh. If all the balloons in the sky above the experimentation stage belong to you, Mr. Loon, then your statement that they were all undamaged clearly contradicts the evidence. No! <laughs> That's cool. So, I'm guess. If a balloon exploded that day, why didn't the man say so? Maybe everyone on board was killed. Oh no, having just spent ten hundred pounds for the experience, how awful! Seems to me like those things crash 50% of the time anyway. <laughs> the instantaneous kinesis did occur, but after, the ex but after the explosion on the stage, the point of materialization shifted to a location occupied by a balloon. So, okay, I, here, I'm guessing that uh, he, it isn't his balloon, and it was a separate balloon that was set that up, housed the dead body, and when it popped, yes. the body fell. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Causing the balloon to explode, 
Yes, eminently plausible. An unfortunate traffic accident, as it were. But it changes nothing about the pertinent facts. Don't call a balloon exploding an unfortunate traffic accident. <laughs> this I cannot accept! Why not, Mr. Loon? You are suggesting that I am a liar! That a person's died in a balloon incident! There's no need to get fired up, Mr. Lune. <laughs> Ah, uh, got him, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. The prosecution rests. <laughs> <laughs> the prosecution will be here all week. <laughs> the victim was the sole fatali fatality that day. That's right, and I approve it. Balthazar Luna is not a liar. There was no such balloon in the sky. It is a non possible. You're saying it's impossible? Why? This court has more important matters to discuss than the number of balloons that were operating that day. <laughs> but we can't ignore the fact that nobody appears to have known anything about this other balloon until now. My lord, the defense calls for further testimony from Mr. Loon. I concur. There is clearly more to the truth here than meets the eye. It's imperative that we clear up the issue of this phantom balloon, I feel. The phantom balloon. Witness, you will give supplementary testimony about the balloons you are operating at the exhibition. Motogura Solid 5, the phantom <sighs> balloon. <laughs> Grazie, my lord.